Hey there, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the stitches needed for the Moody Blue Shawl. This is a triangle shawl that has a somewhat easy one row repeat that you can make any size that you want for all the way from child size to 5X plus. And in mine, I added some beads, but that's totally optional. You don't have to. I just thought it gave it a nice sparkle. Hopefully you can see that well on camera. And if you do decide to put beads in your design, string the beads first on the yarn before you get started crocheting. And then you can just pull them up as you need them to crochet around them. And they will take the place of the Pico, I hope I'm saying that right, which is a chain three and you single crochet or you slip stitch at the bottom, the third chain from the hook. But we'll go over all that. And the yarn we're using today is Loops and Threads soft and shiny and the colorway is vintage indigo and this is a size 4 medium weight yarn you can use any size yarn you want but for this particular stitch they recommend that you use a 5.5 millimeter hook for this yarn but i ended up downsizing by quite a bit to an f 3.75 millimeter crochet hook simply because I thought it made the stitches look tighter and less messy. But what I'd recommend for you is to uh, make a swatch and see what size hook you think would look good with your project. So the written instructions are going to be on my blog. There's a link in the description box below to get to that. Um, if you need instructions on how to speed up or slow down a vid video, they will be in the description box below. And at the end of the video, I will put in the full pictures of this shawl because you it's kind of hard to see here in this little limited space. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you can see those pictures. All right, let's get started. Okay, for row one, you need to chain five. And in the fifth chain from the hook, we're going to work a triple crochet, picot, and two triple crochets, all in the same chain. Here's a picot. Chain three, and then you're going to slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. And it makes this little bumpy part. <laughs> All right, and then two more triple crochets in the first chain. And that's the whole pattern right there. As long as you can do that, you can make this shawl. In the written pattern, I call these V's because they, they are kind of shaped like V's. And you'll see why here in a minute. So for row two, chain four, turn your work, and we're going to work everything in this first stitch right here. So it's another triple crochet, picot, two triple crochets, all in the same stitch. Picot, so chain, chain three, slip stitch in the first chain, yarn over twice for your triple crochet, and then one more triple crochet. All right, so you have two V's now. So you're going to skip this chain, or I mean, skip this stitch, skip the picot, skip this stitch, and you're going to work in the top of this chain three, or chain four, from the previous row. And in that 
stitch, you're going to work two triple crochets, a picot, and then two more triple crochets all in the same stitch. And with every row, you should be building by one V. So there will be one here, two here, the next row will have three, and so forth. That's also a great way to keep track of your rows. So for row three, you're going to chain four. And that counts as a triple crochet. Turn your work. Triple crochet, picot, two triple crochets in the first stitch. Okay, and here is the only part that is different and that you will do with every single row for the rest of the way up. For every first stitch, it will be worked in the first, in the top of the first triple crochet. For the next, all the stitches in the middle, they will be worked in between the V's in this space right here. So you're gonna skip this stitch, skip the picot, skip two stitches and work your V's in between. And then at the ends of the rows, it will be in the top, the top of the turning chain. So you'll do triple crochet. In that space, another triple crochet. Picot. triple crochet, triple crochet. And this pattern works out very quickly because of the triple crochets and they're, since they're so tall, it doesn't take very long to make some serious progress. So say for instance, you had strung some beads on here and you wanted to add them to your project, you would work your two triple crochets as normal. Oops, that's a double crochet. You would work your two triple crochets as normal in the top of the turning chain or any whichever one you decide to put beads into another triple crochet then you would slide the bead on and slip stitch around the bead instead of doing the picot you wouldn't do the picot at all and I don't have any beads left to show you <laughs> but I'm sure you can imagine that you would slide the bead put it up tight and then slip stitch around the bead to hold it in place and then you would work your final two triple crochets But since we don't have a bead, we're just going to work the picot. Two triple crochets. And there you have it. That is the whole pattern for the moody blue shawl. And if you're interested in knowing how I made the border, all I did was I chain one and I single crochet evenly around the perimeter of the entire shawl. Working a single crochet 
chain two, single crochet in each corner. There's going to be three corners. And I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to wait around for that. We'll come back as soon as this row is complete. Okay, so here is round one of the border. And if you're not sure of how to single crochet evenly around a project, I have a video on that and the link will be in the description box below. And I wanted to tell you that with these picots at the top, I just kind of plowed over them with the double or the single crochet. And if you flip it over, you can still see them. So that's not a big deal. For round two is just another row of single crochets. You will single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each corner and I will be right back to show you what that looks like and then after that is only one more row. Okay we're back with our second row of single crochets. Now you can put on any border that you want on your shawl. This is just the border that I chose for mine so you can recreate this or pick anything that you wish and looking back on this I might have bumped up the size of my hook to uh, put the border on just because the stitches could be a little more loose. This is a little tight. So you might want to try bumping up your hook a size or two, depending on what you used for the center portion. All right, for the third and final row of the border, all we did was chain three, and in this same first stitch, we're going to work a double crochet, picot, two double crochets. So it's a smaller version of these Vs. We don't, we're not using triple crochets, we're just using double crochets. and two double crochets. All right. So it's just a smaller version of the V. You skip four chains and in the next chain you'll work two double crochets, picot, two double crochets. One, two, picot, so there's two, and you'll just repeat that across, skip four. Work another one, two double crochets, picot, two double crochets, and you could certainly replace these triple crochets with the base of the pattern with the double crochets and it will still work exactly the same. You'll just start out with a starting chain of four instead of a starting chain of five. If you wanted a smaller V section in the main body of your shawl. Okay, so when you get to the corner, sometimes you have to fudge the corners because it doesn't come out even. There's three stitches before my chain two space, which is completely fine. No one's going to be looking that closely to see if you had four stitches in between. So once you get to a corner, we're going to work three double crochets, picot, three double crochets to make it around the corner. So in the chain two space, three double crochets, picot, three double crochets again, there you go, we made it around the corner, and then you would continue on with the two double crochets, so you'd skip four, and then begin working two double crochet, picot, two double crochet, all in the same stitch. Just 
just like that. And you'd continue that the whole way around. And when you're finished, you will get this amazing shawl. I actually thought the beads were really nice and spark. Gave it a little bit of sparkle. But that's completely optional. There is our border. And as promised, I'm going to insert some pictures at the end so that you can see the full picture and not just this little tiny swatch you get to see right here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day.